Hello, my name is Chris Liebham and I'm the president of Arctic Fire Safety Services, a private wildland firefighting company in Alberta. I wish to take a moment to respond to Mike Farnsworth's comments last night on Global News that uh, he's saying that all resources in Western Canada are being used and the allegations of equipment being left idle is unfounded. In Alberta, there's a huge private sector industry for emergency response that's brought from the oil patch. And this is because of uh, actions in the early 1980s from the Alberta government pushing the oil industry to be safer. And from this, there was a industry best recommended practice of having industrial fire trucks on frack sites. So because of this IRP, there are a couple, about a dozen companies now and over a hundred private fire trucks and a thousand private firefighters that are available to respond. And these trucks are massive. These are 2000 gallon per minute uh, pumper units. They're not very good on top of a mountain trying to fight a wildfire, but you know, to protect towns and cities, there's nothing better. And I feel that this capacity could be very well used in BC to help protect these communities, to help give the local firefighters a break and give them a little bit of rest so they can get back on the lines or even protect their own home communities again. BC Wildfire is aware of this capacity because I was actually invited to a Dragon's Den type of scenario a couple of years ago and gave a presentation. And at the time, the OFC rep said, thanks, but no thanks, because we do not want to interfere with our business relationship with the BC Fire Chiefs and the IAFF. So I really have a question as to how committed they are to this relationship to allow entire towns to burn down. Linton, Monty Lake, and Logan Lake. This just to me seems unfathomable that BC uh, claims that they're doing everything they can. Meanwhile, there's literally a brigade of private first responders that could be out there tomorrow helping. There's other technology that's available to help with the BC wildfire situation that is just not being used. Colson Aviation, which is actually based out of BC, isn't being used in BC. They've got, I've been following them for a couple of years now and they've got amazing technology. They are able to fight fires at night uh, by air, which is something no other company that I know of is doing. They have a jetliner that they've converted into a water bomber. They've got heavy lift helicopters. They've got a C-130 Hercules that could do water bombing. And they even have this built as a modular kit so you could easily convert other C-130s to do this type of task. There's a company in Europe that's now making a wildland specific firefighting robot. There's another company called EMI Controls that pretty much took a giant snowblower or snowmaker and turned that into a firefighting robot and it's being sold at pretty much everywhere except in North America for whatever reason. The technology is out there. The ability is out there. The manpower is out there. The political will is not out there. And I don't know why, and I don't know how we could fix this. When it comes to wildland firefighters, for example, going back to these thousand private firefighters, they could all be cross-trained. The type one course is a 10 day course. It takes at least two weeks to mobilize firefighters from another country to come to, uh, to BC or to anywhere else in Canada. So you, in a quicker turnaround, you could have more firefighters that are locally, local to the country able to help out our own country rather than bringing in foreign firefighters. The solutions are there. We just need to rethink the protectionist attitudes that are prevalent in the BC government and frankly, all the other CFC members in general. There is one company in Canada that does have private type one firefighting crews and that's Yukon First Nations uh, wildfire in the Yukon territories. And I think they're a model to emulate. What they do is they put their crews through a two week boot camp on wildland firefighting before they send them out every year. I've met with their ownership and I think they're a fantastic group of guys. They're actually helping in BC right now through the Yukon government's uh, deployment. So once again, the model is there. 
the equipment is available. This line of fire trucks I'm standing beside right now, they're all available for rent. I mean, <laughs> it's just craziness that we cannot get these resources across the Rocky Mountains, but we're able to fly in firefighters from Australia. There needs to be a really deep, hard reset as to how we do first response in Canada. Justin Trudeau hiring another thousand firefighters. We've already got them. Let's just re let's get them cross-trained. Let's make a type one firefighter a national standard because it's not right now. If you're an Ontario firefighter and you wanted to go work in Alberta or BC, you have to go redo their type one course. If they're coming on export, that's okay because they're only there temporarily. But if you're looking to hire someone from another province to your province as a type one firefighter, technically they have to go through that training again, even though they've got the experience to already do the work. Type two firefighters, there's a plethora of them that are sitting around. These are available to go across Canada as well. However, there's no national standard either for that. We are so far behind the Americans in this regard that it's not even funny. In the United States, they have a national standard for wildland firefighters. There's no, oh, you're from Florida, so you cannot work in California, or there's, or you work in Montana, so you cannot go work in Iowa or anything like that. A wildland firefighter is a wildland firefighter. They have their type ones and their type two standards, and they have the red card system, and that's it. We could get this done right, Canada, but there needs to be some serious political leadership to take place to get this done. And right now, BC isn't there.